This week I set myself the challenge of making a real wheel bearing puller uh, for removing the rear wheel bearing on a Beetle. Now that's kind of the design I ended up with, ignore the middle bit. Um, so it's quite a lot of effort to design and shape the hooks on the end of there so they actually hook into the bearing and when you straighten them up through the bar, up through the plate, um, they, they tighten and they actually grab behind the back of the bearing. And that seemed to work really, really well. However, the 10mm bolt I use in the middle, not this one, um, which is why I actually used to crank it away and try and pull the bearing out, crushed, actually crushed and twisted the, the bolt. So there's a lot of force there. Oh no. And I don't know if, it's, if I've got a particularly sticky bearing um, or if it's just the, the coach bolts are made of monkey metal, they're not strong enough. I'm not really sure. So, because that failed, I've cheated, so I've designed a slightly different puller this week, which looks like that. So all it is is a very, very simple uh, bit of square plate. Um, I drilled holes in it, which basically match uh, the bearing cap. Um, through that I've threaded some 10mm bar, um, and the central one is just a, an old coach bolt, which has got a round face to it, um, and that will sit on the end of the axle. Um, and because there's an indent on the end of the axle, that should vaguely hold in place. Um, we're going to thread these through, bolt them onto the axle tube, and then in theory, if we tighten these outer ones, it'll pull the tube and the bearing with it um, off at the same time. So it is a bit of a cheat because obviously to use it, you've got to have uh, you've, got to be, you've got to want to take the axle tube off, which I do because I'm replacing them. Um, so for just removing bearings. It won't work. So say if you're moving the tube and the axles, then uh, this might be an easy peasy option. It only took me about an hour to make it, um, so it's quick and easy. Does it work? Let's find out. Oh no, look at that. Bendy Wendy. Steel sandwich. So the silver one's a little bit bent from when I tried it last. Um, but I can't see me bending 9mm. I put two plates on and I've added some washers this time just to help uh, the nuts spin round. And I've actually put a tiny bit of grease on there as well just to reduce any friction. Um, the axle tube was rattling around, I've taken it off the spring plate, so I've actually put it back into place on the spring plate and I've put one of the bolts back in as well to stop anything from spinning. Um, I've nipped up the nuts to the back here and give it a try. Keep your fingers crossed. And the opposites. I think it'll pull off now. Oh yeah, rock and roll. Sorted. Once you've got your tube off and you want to, you want to get your bearing out, um, it's a good turn it over and put a bit of bar down and try and tap it out from the inside edge. But if you've got a basic puller like this, they're only about less than the tenner on eBay and stuff, and they're really simple to use. And so it's not worth messing. <laughs> Just get yourself it. This makes everything so much easier. Um, so I'll pop, try and pop a link in the description. One of the best tenors I ever spent. <laughs> 